Like your word. How about the mouse and fancy? I think so. Patrick, did you want to talk about this one or no? Uh, I was hoping you would. All right. So I'm going to come back to this one in just a bit. My name is Dan Malmstrom. I'm the president of a biotech company in Alexandria called Douglas Scientific and North Point Professionals. We live just outside of Battle Lake, Minnesota, and a citizen that's been involved in driving um, um, some projects that actually pertain to Partnership for Health and West Central Initiative. I can talk to you a lot about what's transformed in the Battle Lake area over the last um, five years. I'm going to try to really focus on those parts where Partnership for Health and SHIP have really been instrumental in the transformation of the Battle Lake area. What you're seeing right here, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this yet because there's not context here. This is the City of Battle Lake pre-complete streets project that um, Partnership for Health, Complete Streets, Patrick himself personally, helped um, actually accomplish. This is the completed Battle Lake Complete Streets um, before and after. And as you can see, there's a lot of new uh, pedestrian and bicycle infrastructure that's been established as well as slowing down traffic through the, through the city. And you can see that there, there's a lot of uh, landscaping and streetscaping that was uh, accomplished by design. This is an amazing project and this did not happen by accident. Uh, WCCO and many other uh, um, statewide um, uh, publicity and, and uh, media entities have been in Battle Lake for, um, to actually feature this on a collaborative, a collaborative basis. But I'd like to spend some time just talking to you about how this actually happened and how we got some support. So if you were to, back to the future in 2008, and so there were some Battle Lake people in the room right here, there were about 60 to 80 people that were gathering every other week for six months dealing with these issues. All right? These are not small things for a town of about 800. All right? And basically what they were hoping was that Battle Lake would not become another little house on the prairie that was going to wither and die. Businesses were closing on Main Street, declining enrollment, and the school system was um, basically experiencing test scores that were mediocre among 20, uh, 24 schools in the region. State park funding was being reduced, and the state park, Glendale State Park, was on the brink. It's going to be more than a minute. Um, I wasn't planning on that first slide. Um, state park funding was going to be reduced, um, and the state park manager, um, uh, park manager, was actually going to have his job uh, reduced on part time. Tourism was in a decline. There was citizen concern, but more than that, there was desire. All right. What happened? Over about a two month period, we as a community developed a shared vision, and the vision was a hundred page document that described in detail what we were going to look like by 2014. All right, build the retirement industry, city park renovations, storefront, uh, re, uh, storefront rehabilitation, all the way down Main Street, natural gas being brought to the city, a national caliber school, and a Glendale Trail. What I want to feature here right now is just Glendale Trail. All of those other things, it's an hour conversation for all of those as well. Transformation. So, where does this really begin? This is the Glendale Trail itself. This has been a dream since 1992, but not tackled because it was very complex. I agreed to kind of take this on myself, all right? Among those other things you saw on the list, I just said, I'll take this one, all right? It's five segments of trail. Wayne mentioned Minnesota Department of Transportation, right here, District 9. I actually served on that board, all right? I learned how to do some things in terms of federal grants um, and applying for those grants. We applied for three federal grants. Now the fourth, we actually have a state, excuse me, a safe roads to school um, segment as well. It's a very complex 12-mile bike and pedestrian trail, all right? This part here within the state park couldn't be funded by a federal transportation grant. But Nordis, Dan Skogan, and Governor Plenty himself, who I'm going to see on Monday again, by the way, to thank him again, actually did state bonding in 2010 to support this particular piece of the trail. Five segments funded with $230,000 in local philanthropy, no taxpayer dollar impact, all right? Over $2.5 million have gone into that trail. But during the process, in this room, there was a eureka moment. All right? Because this was just part of what we wanted to accomplish in Battle Lake. What I'm talking about here is complete streets. I came to those District 9 MnDOT <coughs> meetings every, every quarter, and I would look at these large spreadsheets. And on the spreadsheet, on one day, there was a, there was a line item that said, uh, Highway um, 78 resurfacing from Purim to Battle Lake. Well, it has to go through Battle Lake. So where is it? What's happening with that? And Patrick, 
the, the quarter before had presented a complete streets initiative. I didn't know what that was, but he educated us greatly. I saw 210 and, and 78 coming through Battle Lake. That only happens about once every 20 years. If we were going to do a complete street, streetscaping, it would have to happen now because it wasn't going to happen again for decades. Went to Patrick and I said, Patrick, can you help us with this? Mindat would say, it's too late. This is a multi-year planning process. But they listened to Patrick. The city approved their complete streets resolution. And what you saw all right, in that complete street transformation was pulled off in one year. All right? It was amazing. And lots of infrastructure, water and sewer, and everything was improved during that entire process. Reba's back here because Reba, Killian from um, Bad Lake, was responsible with Patrick's help again to get a Lake Region Arts Council mosaic. So if you look at the benches and the artwork on the city of Bad Lake, there's mosaics that are beautiful that were done by artists across the region as part of that as part of that, uh, part of that streetscaping. And then there's another two months, it's about a $300,000 trail that's going to complete the sixth segment in Battle Lake that's part of this um, um, complete streets. Why is that important? Because you talked about, you know, the health initiatives. When I went to the state of Minnesota for the peace within the park, the commissioner of DNR Park says, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do a loop in the park. No bike pedestrian trail in the park. I said, why? He says, we are no longer doing loops within parks that are isolated, right? We want to do projects that tie to hospitality, amenities, and education. Oh, by the way, we want to use state parks as the gateway to get kids off the couch, out of their Game Boys, and off their phones, and see the environment. Because conservation environmentalism in this state is in jeopardy unless the next generation has fitness and environmentalism in their heads. I said, let me get the trail from the city to the park. Will you support me at that point? He said, yeah, of course. So these guys helped me get that first federal grant, which got us to the park, and then the governor and the DNR supported the rest of the equation. So where are we at today? This is the entire trail. It's complete. There's a map on your chair. And the shared vision results. Five years later, every city park has been renovated. Downtown business storefronts have been um, renovated and updated with um, HRA grants. Complete streets project is done with gorgeous artistic touches. Natural gas, by the way, this is this week's favorite in Battle Lake. All right, the school, I told you we're a mediocre school. Principal and teachers were in Washington, D.C., where the Secretary of Education just awarded them a National Blue Ribbon School, and they are at the top in all academic test scores among 24 schools in the region right now. Five years ago, mediocre. Decided to be a national caliber. And then the bottom, Natural gas just got hooked up in Battle Lake this week. The infrastructure has been going in along those highways all, all summer through Arvid. Two Good Samaritans expansions. Five new businesses have opened the doors in Battle Lake in the last 18 months. Highest visitor count in the history of Glendalough State Park since 1992. It's the best real retail summer for four downtown businesses. Remember where we were five years ago. Businesses were closing. Exceptional local and regional statewide publicity. And a new Safe Roads to School trail segment will be done next summer um, by this time. That's a community transfer, uh, transformation. A lot of different dimensions. These guys, uh, Partnership for Health, Complete Streets, uh, Lake Region Arts Council, and a lot of community volunteers pulled this off. So thank you very much. It's a great case study, and hopefully we can help other communities like Yelp Dars.